First order of business, we're going to be talking about Jamie Foxx. Now, Jamie Foxx, you know, after Diddy found himself in a, in a situation and some new accusations are on the horizon as far as Sean Diddy Combs, it seems like everybody is coming out of the woodwork, you know. And a lot of people think uh, all of these, quote unquote, first of all, we got to say this before we begin before we start on any of these uh, topics, all of this is allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Uh, I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not here to uh, say uh, convict anybody. Everyone is proven innocent until they get their opportunities in a court of law, and then we can go from there. So when we, so when I'm talking about this stuff, look, look, let's be grown ups here. Let's not just assume. You know what they say when people assume too much, all right? Uh, everyone is pre is presumed innocent. Same thing with Diddy, even though he settled out of court with Cassie. Just because he settled, you know, this is what kills me about social media. And this is what, this is what kills me about court of public opinion. If Diddy would have fought this, people would have said, well, why, why, why is he fighting so hard? Obviously, he did something wrong with Cassidy. And if Diddy, uh, you know, buy, buys her off, oh, well, he doesn't want to prove without a shadow of a doubt that he's innocent. Okay, you can't win for losing in a court of public opinion. Uh, and like I said, I made multiple videos. I, I, or I told you guys the story. I told you guys the layout. And I gave you guys my opinion about it. But uh, as of right now, Diddy is innocent. OK, there's no charges criminal criminally on Diddy. There's no civil suits. Now, there are some that's possibly on the horizon that we're going to talk about. But first and foremost, let's talk about. And when Diddy settled with Cassidy out of court, some people say that it's um, one million, 30 million, 50 million, 100 M's. You know, everyone's saying that this this uh, settlement's going to bankrupt Diddy. I, I suggest everyone strongly suggest everyone out there to google the the income of diddy this man is a billionaire even let's just say hypothetically on the high end he owes cassidy 100 million dollars and i said this in the video if he owes cassidy 100 million dollars that's you know, you know that's not a lot of money considered when we talk about diddy somebody like me that's a hell of a lot of money that's life-changing money somebody like you definitely that's a lot of money that's a whole lot of money okay but to someone a mogul like diddy that's just a drop in the bucket, all right? Uh, because he's looking at the this potentially damaging his reputation and his image now I, and tarnishing his image. Uh, I, I'm one to say that, uh, you know, there have been several things that's been news surrounding Diddy that's not good news for Diddy. You know, the publishing uh, fiasco, uh, you know, not paying his artists and, you know, this, that, and the third. There's been a lot of published reports and articles out there that, you know, technically is damaging his reputation and his image. But I feel like this one right here is 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 real damaging. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. All right. But first and foremost, let's get into um Jamie Foxx. Okay. Jamie Foxx was the first person who uh who who who's about to go to court. Now he may uh settle this, but let's let's just talk about it real fast, real quick. Jamie Foxx is accused of a 2015 SA incident at a New York rooftop rooftop lounge. Okay. After Jamie Foxx is facing SA allegations in a lawsuit filed on the eve of uh, of the uh adult survivor act, okay which opened a, a one-year window for adult su survivors of SA to sue their abusers, regardless of when the abuse occurred, all right? The allegation 2015 of SA, ooh, hold up, we just got to add here, of SA occurred at a New York, a New York City uh, rooftop lounge catch uh, NYC roof. Okay. According to the suit filed Wednesday in New York Superior Court and reviewed by the Daily News, in, in, in it, the plaintiff goes by the name of Jane Doe, claims she uh, 
she found herself seated near Fox upon arrival around 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. The woman's friend walked over and asked Fox for a photo, to which he replied, sure, baby, anything for you, all right? Then, okay, Fox then turned his attention to the planner, telling her, wow, you have a supermodel body, and complimented her, as well as telling her she looks like actress Gabrielle Union, okay? Uh, Fox then, uh, Fox then allegedly dragged the woman by the arm and moved and moved sec in it to a secure area on the rooftop where he placed both of his hands on the plaintiff's waist, uh, waist, moved up underneath the plaintiff crop top and began rubbing her breast. The suit state caught off guard. She tried to move away. She, she said uh, a glance a glance at the security guard to only to see uh, him walk away um, not uh, notice after noticing them okay Fox proceeded to slide his hand into the plaintiff's pants put his finger on her <laughs> and her yanus okay I'm hey man Fox you a sly dog okay? Do you know how many guys have a problem just finding their, just placing their finger in the, in the, all right? And you done it in both holes, okay? You are extraordinary talented. Not a lot of guys can find one hole, much less you found two at the same time. Hold to the lead, all right? All right. So uh, the lawsuit alleges, okay? That, that when the woman friend walked over, looked at her, at which Fox stopped touching her, walked uh, towards the security guard. The incident left the uh, the plaintiff injured, sick, sore, lame, uh, lame and disabled. Uh, the complaint states added uh, that she had to seek medical treatment and was unable to get back to her daily life. Uh, of, of that period okay great uh she said she had she pain and suffering that continued to this day okay okay this is how long ago this was let's go back 2015 and here we are at 2023 and you're still in great pain and suffering okay all right she will <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I'm not laughing at her. I'm just, you know, the time frame is it's, it's kind of wild, okay? You know, respectfully, we got to respect these people. No matter what we think, if they're right or wrong, if if they're innocent or guilty, everyone is entitled to uh, uh, take their uh, concerns and their, their concerns to civil or criminal court, all right? She... Uh, she will permanently be affected, was affected by these injuries, emotional distress. She, uh, the result of SA, the SA uh, and abuse, uh, SA and battery. The suit continues as a recent uh, act of ne ne negligence. Okay. Can I pronounce, can I say that right? And gross uh Okay, let's. Uh, okay, the plaintiff suffers and continues to suffer severe emotional distress, uh, um, and uh, it's uh, humiliating, embarrassing. This post-trauma stress disorder and other physical emotional damages. The suit occurs. The suit uh, also uh, accuses the restaurant owner for failing to protect the woman, knowing that Fox allegedly became uh, badly behave, bad behavior when drunk and that the bar uh, personally did not have proper training to spot his, uh, you know, to spot uh, Jamie Foxx. The restaurant had no knowledge of Fox uh, and this, uh, uh, this situation and his behavior towards females. The potential for unwanted sexual touching is a bad uh, circumstance. And she also said uh, when consumed alcohol, the suit claims. The woman determined uh, 
she wants uh, punitive damages, neither Fox nor the restaurant had comments Wednesday. Fox is just the latest celebrity who's facing actions in the wake of the New York Adult Survivor Act going into effect last Thanksgiving and now coming to close in recent days. Sean Diddy Combs, Cuba Gooden Jr., Axel Rose have been named as uh, people in SA, um, SA uh, of situations, all right? I'm trying to, uh, you know, trying to make this family friend. All right, so let's, let's, let's tackle the Jamie Foxx thing. All right, let's just tackle the Jamie Foxx thing. All right, this is an, uh, this is one incident. This is different from Diddy, where Diddy, uh, where Cassidy allegedly said that Diddy did uh multiple things to her that was unwanted, and this was a ten year span. All right, so this is a little bit different than the Jamie Foxx incident, where this is just an isolated incident. It, it, it happened once, all right, with this particular female. But I feel like uh, I feel like more women, if uh, Jamie Foxx is like Cuba Gooden Jr., when he gets drunk, he gets wild, and he says and, and do things that is not appropriate, other women will come forward if they uh, had incidents with Jamie Foxx at, you know, not only at that, uh, that lounge, but just anywhere. All right. So I'm pretty sure she's banking on other females to come to the aid of her to co-sign. Well, you know, I wasn't there with Jimmy Fox and this particular woman, but that did happen to me when uh, I was isolated by Jamie Fox. Okay. So that's what she's hoping. That's what she's banking on. Um, and with with SA, we, we, we have to uh we have to tip we have to tiptoe around it. Uh this is not a laughing matter, it's not a funny thing. Uh we need to put our big boy uh pants on. We need to be serious from here on out. All right. So uh no you know can't be too colorful or you know funny or anything like that. But um let's just talk about this incident. All right. So According to the report, to the to the report, like I said, this was an isolated incident. Uh, also, according to this report, and I'm only uh, speculating from this point. All right, uh, by if you read a report, it sounds like to me she had concerns about this and talked to, and and it sounds like to me she talked to the restaurant or uh, the restaurant uh, order. Uh, owner and she went down the chain of command and because in that report she said uh the employees the employer and, and the owner was not trained nor qualified to spot behavior like this now she, also in this report there was a guard there and uh judging by what i read when he got close to her and started grabbing her and think, and, oh, well, let's just say pulling her to a location where it's private, she said that the security guard noticed that, but the security guard didn't do nothing but walk away. And this, to me, sounds like this security guard knows how Jamie Foxx is, all right? You know, when Jamie Foxx pulls somebody in a private location, he wants privacy. And maybe uh, there have been some women that were flirtatious that wouldn't mind Jamie Foxx uh, grabbing on them and touching on them, you know. But there are other women, um, you know, that are totally against that. Now, to me, the, the point of this is how did you leave your table and go to this area. Now, in the report, she said that he grabbed her. Now, he he probably put his hands on that. And like I said, I, I you know, this is gonna come off two different ways. This can go out, this can this can go either way. Maybe he grabbed her hand and read her and reassured her, you know, uh, you know, you know, 
spread that charm of his and trying to be funny and entertaining, trying to lead her. And she probably cooperated to a certain extent to a private location. And maybe uh, when she got there, she was expecting, you know, you know, probably, you know, take him, uh, you know, getting to know him, maybe become a, maybe become his friend or, or whatever. Maybe her attention, maybe her attentions were, uh, general, uh, you know, uh, you know, and maybe, uh, and, and maybe Fox was the same way, uh, genuine, May maybe their attentions were genuine, um, her or Fox. Okay. Uh, both of them. Okay. Uh, I, I, I will say that's a gray area because if this go to court, I'm pretty sure Jamie Foxx's lawyer is going to say, well, I mean, how y'all get from, how y'all move from the table to this private location? Now, she's implying that he uh, grabbed her and, and, and pulled her to this area. Now, I'm pretty sure if there was a struggle, I'm pretty sure the security guard would intervene. I'm pretty sure that Anybody would have intervened, you know, no matter if it's Jamie Foxx or whoever. OK, if you're pulling on a female and she doesn't want to uh, go with you, I'm pretty sure people would notice that and would take pictures or, or even, you know, uh, you know, try to diffuse the incident. OK. Um, so that's where the gray area is. And. You know, Fox and his legal team, I'm, and I'm pretty sure she has a lawyer. They're going to have to work this out. Uh, it sounds like there's a lot of gray areas in this report. I'm not saying that the lady's lying. I'm not saying Jamie Foxx is lying. I'm not saying he's guilty. I'm not saying he's innocent. I'm not saying she's guilty. She's innocent. She, she, she's looking for a huge payday. I'm not saying none of that stuff. You know, this is a judge-free live stream. You know, I don't you know, I don't play those games like uh, other people when they uh, talk about uh, talk about this stuff. You know, I, I kind of want to give everyone a fair shot until you get more and more information. And as of right now, we, we there's not a lot of information considering this. OK, so, um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of gray area and uh, I'm pretty sure that this is going to have to go this may go to court and uh we'll have to wait and see what 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 happens after that all right so that that's all i got for jamie jamie fox uh that's all that's out there for jamie fox so we're gonna have to wait and see 